This is the very earliest image that I have saved um, of Pagan, the Louisiana cat girl, as she is today. How old is this image, you ask? Well, that old. August 15th, 2006. But the thing is, Pagan has been around a whole lot longer than that. Pagan has been around since my junior high school days, if I recall. Um, she was inspired by um, the Thundercats, more specifically uh, Chitara and later Pumaira, because of course, of course she was. Um, uh, I mean, OG Thundercats was like a huge part of my childhood, you know, and um, and of course, and of course, I would be inspired by uh, the Thundercats when it came to Pagan. Um, the original incarnation of Pagan is far, far different from what she is today. Uh, she was originally called Cougar. Uh, yeah, original name, I know. Um, she was basically a sidekick to uh, another character. And basically the two of them were genetic experiments created by a mad scientist and they were fighting said mad scientist. And, they, and his... Um, in his evil genetic creations, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, the next incarnation of Pagan was called Roar. And basically she was a part of a superhero group that I created a long time ago. And there are remnants of, um, the superhero group that I created, uh, scattered throughout the Trinity concept. Uh, characters like uh, the Paraclete, uh, the Miracle, the Intercessor. Uh, those three are directly from uh, that particular superhero group. Um, and of course, uh, this was the '90s, and you know, and you know the trope, the grim and gritty, grim and gritty for the '90s, you know. And and Roar was basically all practically naked, except for this like red. Um, red strap thing that covered her chest and her um and and her and her uh grow and her nether regions <laughs> I was a teenager I was horny deal with it we all we all had those moments go away uh, and then we get to the current incarnation of Pagan, uh, as she is now. Um, Pagan, I basically kind of recycled Pagan as a cryptid. Um, I, I mentioned earlier, like, Cougar was a genetic experiment. Roar was a mutant, uh, like a super, like a super, like a Marvel super mutant. Um, and this, ver and this current incarnation of Pagan was a cryptid. Um, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Mothman, that sort of thing. Uh, and the name of Pagan, let me pull this up real quick. The name of Pagan, and I called, I decided to call her Pagan. I was naming her after this. This was the original Pagan. Pagan was a Siamese cat uh, owned by my uncle uh, many, many years ago. Um, I've known, I knew Pagan for maybe two or three years until Pagan, until he eventually died of cancer. And I thought when I, um, I decided when I was recreating, um, my cat girl character as she is now, I decided I'm going to go ahead and name her Pagan after my uncle's cat. And my uncle appreciated that, of course. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much like the origin of Pagan's name right there. So uh, Pagan, originally I created, I, re I originally wrote a novel uh, with Pagan as the, as the main character, uh, basically telling her origin story. Uh, getting into all sorts of, uh, getting into a major misadventure, basically, where she would be hunted by this multi-millionaire cryptid collector. Um, excuse me. And 
And in the uh, Trinity Concept origin story that I'm writing right now, um, on the pagan side, I'm going to be definitely um, adapting uh, parts of the novel into the webcomic. Um, and it, I'm going to uh, basically incorporate the, incorporate the parts of the novel into the webcomic and try to make it fit, seamless, uh, f make it fit seamlessly. Um, because there are some parts of uh, the novel and some areas in the webcomic that don't mesh very well. So the um, origin story is going, uh, for the webcomic, the origin story is going to, I'm going to do my best to make sure it meshes. Um, and it's going to take a little work. I'm still working on it right now. I'm still trying to figure things out here and there, but I am, I'm confident that I should have this, I, I should have that part ready. I hope I have that bit ready. So, and anyway, uh, and of course, Pagan, I, I really like the character of Pagan as she is now. She is kind, she is sweet, she is loving, she is born of love. Um, she is the aspect of love of Trinity Terror, after all. And, and I, and Pagan, and Pagan, she is, she is very simple. She, she's, a, she's, a, she's a simple individual. Uh, not simple as, you know, she's not, she's not dumb or anything. Um, she is very smart, she is very wise. Uh, but there are some things, there are some little things that are, um, that I like about Pagan. Pe Pagan. Uh, she's basically, um, she's, she, she's sometimes very literal, some inner thinking, and she's not very good with technology. Uh, I'll show you an example of it. This is so confusing. Oseko, I've been trying to text Jean all day, but there's no response. Um, Pagan, that's the calculator. Oh yeah, that's Pagan. Um, Pagan is very much a cat. She is an animal. She considers this, she considers her, herself an animal. She doesn't consider herself as human, but she's not. A, she doesn't think of herself as a monster. She's more. She she's an animal. She is. She's a cat, and um, and and that's one thing about uh, Pagan right there is that uh, like a most recent thing, like as as recent as last year. I basically decided to uh, give her, basically decided to have her roll her R's like a cat would, um, if a cat could ever talk. And that was basically my, my way of trying to like, in the webcomic, um, like separate her, vo her voice from the other characters' voices, uh, like Jean. Uh, with her um, French accent and Kurei Widow. Kurei Widow's basic, Kurei Widow's um, voice is like the most normal out of the three, basically. And. And basically, I'm sorry. And basically, uh, it's like. Um, I'll give you another, another example of uh, Pagan's um, um, voice, basically. That went about as well as I thought it would. I'm so used to hiding from people, at least on Earth. In the way station, people that are already used to me, they know me, respect me. Pandora's Day only happened a while ago. People are still afraid. That girl, I could smell her fear. She probably thought I was going to eat her instead. I'd never do that, but still. <sighs> I might as well head back to the orphanage. <laughs> what is that scent? That's, what is that scent just now? It smells curious. <laughs> Another scent. A human scent. I don't like where all this is going. So yes, um... That's a little something for the uh, voice, uh, the voice talents who are who have auditioned for Pagan. A little pointer as to how I imagined her, uh, her voice, in my head. Um, 
Of course, the voice in my head uh, sounds a lot like Fourth Pagan. It sounds a lot like Monica Rial, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's. I will take, I will take what I can get. You know, it's like I'm not picky in this whole endeavor. Um, whoever sounds like the best pagan will be pagan. Um, like I've said before, the short list is quite long, so we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, uh, with Pagan, her character, as, as it stands now, I would say the best example of Pagan I could say for Pagan would be she's basically autistic. Um, and I can say this because I'm autistic too. Uh, she is... She can be a bit um, fo too focused. She can have. She has a bit of tunnel vision. Like I said, she can. She she understands things a little too literal at times. She's not very good with technology, but she is very smart. She's very wise. Um, she is very passionate, courageous. Um, she loves children. She will protect children with her life. She runs an orphanage in the way station, and I'll admit, uh, I got that bit. And that was another recent thing. I got that bit from the Yakuza series, uh, Kazuma Kiru and his, orf and his orphanage. Um, so that gives you a bit of, that gives you another example of, um, of how I see Pagan. Um, Pagan is the aspect of love. She is very loving. She's very, very strong, very courageous. And other, like other aspects of love in my mind. Um, Wonder Woman, that's another aspect of love right there. Uh, and I mentioned uh, Kiyuru from the Yakuza series. Um, and and that, that's the thing about Trinity Concept. Uh, there are always aspects. There was aspects of love, hope, and justice, and and they're everywhere in uh, in, in media. And you just have to know where to look. You have to select the characters. You have to think. Okay, so what is this character? Who does this character represent? Um, and you see that character. You see their personalities shine through, and it's like that. You know. Um, I'm off on a tangent. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So basically, Pagan... Pagan is one of my oldest characters. She's one of my more cherished characters. Uh, and whoever gets to play this role... Uh, no pressure. Uh, whoever gets to play this role of Pagan, um, they're going to take with them a good, large chunk of her history with her. Um, like I said, Pagan's a cat. Pagan is... Pagan is probably very close to autistic. Autistic. Um, and that should give you a pretty good idea of who Pagan is as a character. She is... She's probably aside from Jean herself, one of the more wiser characters that I have in uh, the Trinity concept. Um, and whoever gets to play her is, I hope, gets to um, understand just who she is, what she is, uh, why she is. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, and all the voice act, all, all the voice talents, um, who have, who have, uh, done their best to, uh, portray Pagan, thank you, uh, because like I said, Pagan's one of my oldest characters, and to, and to hear, I hear a lot of you, um, do your best in trying to portray her. It's it's overwhelming, you know. It's it feels good uh, to to hear hear all of you um, 
voice, this character that I've had in my head for so many years, you know, and um, yeah, so I hope you'll take these pointers to heart uh, when we eventually choose uh, the final people to play these characters, Pagan, Jean, uh, Kuroi Widow, Ryokami, um, and I'll get to Ryokami soon. Uh, uh, Ryokami is another one of my uh, characters who's been around for a while. Um, and I'll get to his backstory and how I created him as well. Um, but I, like, first things first, Pagan's... Pa I wanted to do Pagan first. Um, the next vlog will be about Jean and how she came to be. And the blog after that will be about uh, Kure Widow. Both of them. There are two Kure Widows. And I'll get to that later on. But for now, I've rambled on. This old man has rambled on long enough. I got things to do. I gotta go for a walk. I gotta do other things. Um, but yeah. Um, Thank you for listening to this old man ramble, and I will talk to you guys, and I will, you will hear my voice uh, very soon. So thank you. Bye-bye.